Okay, so <clears throat> now I set up these reserve tanks for my system. Um, these tanks, there's three of them, three five gallon drums. And I got the uh, unknown valves on each one. This is extra water for the hydroponic system because we're going away for a couple of days. And I want to have uh, some water to top it off as I go. You can see each one of these tanks are aerating. And then uh, down below here, um, you have that downspout and a switch, and then I have tubing going across connecting them. And uh, if you look inside here, down here, you can see where these tanks are now feeding into the reservoir. And on the other side of the reservoir, you see there's a fluid switch. And as the water level gets to height, it automatically shuts the water from the tanks off. So you can see the tube from the tanks. And then you can see here the uh, float switch. We shut the water off. You can see it drip now. It's still dripping a little bit. It's not totally turned off because it's still topping off. And then we're back to the tank. Inside the reservoir we have if you kind of you look carefully, you may see a few fish in there floating around. Uh, there's one guy over there in the corner. And this is my biofilter. This is where nitrification takes place. This is the uh, uh, turning, uh, converting ammonia into nitrogen by uh, nitrites and then you can see there's my pump and I'm leading out of the tank now with that pump I'm pumping the water right out and then I'm going right into my grow beds which are like that now they're looking pretty healthy you can see these are peppers and I got four runs. I can grow 20 plants in this area. And you can see my grow lights up there. Those are T5s. Okay. And I got uh, a bit of plumbing below that I installed. You can see there. Here is my... This is where I actually can adjust the flow. Water comes down out of here around in there like that comes up I can adjust the flow and you can see the water there in the tank into the tanks and it goes right through like that and then also I have here another valve at, this, at the end of this valve here I just hook a hose up to the end and that way I can drain it drain the tanks when I need to so uh, that's pretty much it. Let's see if we can see one of those fish in the aquaponics uh, system. And if I don't want to disturb, right now they're hanging out under those pit, uh, water lilies there. And back around, float switch again. Back up to my main reservoir. That's 15 gallons of water. So when I go away, that water will feed into the tank as the evaporation and the plants suck it up. I should get, I'm hoping to get like five, six, seven days without having to touch this thing. That's all for now.